Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In recent years, the United States has continued to increase chip restrictions. In October 2022, it introduced strict export control policies to restrict wafer manufacturers located in the mainland from obtaining advanced equipment, including the mainland factories of Samsung, SK Hynix and TSMC. A few days later, Samsung, SK Hynix, and TSMC simultaneously obtained a one-year exemption from the United States, but the treatment was different a year later. Recently, news of TSMC's licensing came, and the remote paralysis incident has finally been settled. The U.S. Department of Commerce issued a one-year exemption license to Samsung, SK Hynix, and TSMC. They can continue to receive the supply of U.S. semiconductor equipment within one year without applying, which allows them to continue to promote the construction of mainland factories. But one year goes by very quickly, what will happen after one year? Whether they can continue to obtain permission becomes an important question. Therefore, they were very nervous during this year and did not dare to make any big moves to avoid causing more losses. During this period, Samsung and SK Hynix worked actively, and the Korean government also strengthened communication and finally achieved good results. In October 2023, South Korea stated that the mainland fabs of Samsung and SK Hynix had received indefinite exemptions from the United States. In this case, Korean companies will no longer have to worry about restrictions in the future and can safely expand mainland wafer fabs. But TSMC is different. Then news came that TSMC's Nanjing factory only received a one-year exemption from the United States. It can be seen that after the one-year exemption period, TSMC's treatment is different from that of Samsung and SK Hynix. Its mainland factory can feel free to expand. However, there is still uncertainty about the future of TSMC's Nanjing factory, which shows that the United States is not confident about TSMC. You know, in the global wafer foundry market, TSMC is much stronger than Samsung in terms of wafer manufacturing technology and market share. However, in addition to its foundry business, Samsung is also leading the global memory chip field with SK Hynix. Therefore, they are all strongly invited by the United States to build factories in the United States, and they have already invested in the United States and started factory construction. However, the United States seems to be more concerned about wafer manufacturing and the wafer giant TSMC. Although TSMC has invested the most in building factories in the United States, its progress is not fast. The vast majority of wafer production capacity is still in Taiwan, China, which has caused concerns in the United States. The United States not only does not want TSMC to expand production capacity in mainland China, but also hopes that TSMC will transfer more production capacity to the United States. After all, many American companies rely on TSMC for their advanced production capacity. As the geopolitical situation changes, the United States is more worried about TSMC being taken away. As a result, American officials and professors have repeatedly made statements such as blow up TSMC and destroy TSMC equipment. Recently, the US media released news that after the United States expressed concerns, the lithography machine giant ASML made a guarantee 
that it can remotely paralyze TSMC's lithography machines. This fully shows that the United States is worried that TSMC has reached the level of madness. Both ASML and TSMC remained silent on this news because both companies were under great pressure. ASML is equivalent to leaving a backdoor for the lithography machine, which obviously loses business credibility and will lose the trust of customers, resulting in the loss of more orders. TSMC is even more uncomfortable. It actively cooperated with U.S. export controls and agreed to build factories in the United States, but it was denied this treatment. However, as a piece of news came, the incident of remotely paralyzing the lithography machine was finally settled. TSMC publicly stated that the U.S. Department of Commerce recently granted an indefinite exemption to TSMC's Nanjing plant and it will no longer need to apply for a license in the future. The operation of the United States is very interesting. It is simply a slap in the face and give you candy. First release the news that TSMC can be remotely paralyzed, which will have a certain deterrent effect on TSMC, and then give an exemption permit to win over TSMC. After all, TSMC still has value, and the transfer of production capacity to the United States has not yet been completed. The U.S. chip giant still relies on TSMC for OEM production. The point is that although the United States has implemented chip restrictions, China's chip production capacity has increased. In particular, mature process production capacity has begun to gain a dominant advantage. It has granted an indefinite exemption to TSMC's Nanjing plant in order to use it to suppress China's development. Therefore, granting indefinite exemption to TSMC's Nanjing plant does not mean that the United States regards TSMC as its own but that it continues to use TSMC as a tool for sanctions, because it does not need to apply for a license and the mature production capacity of the Nanjing plant can be increased faster. After all, TSMC is the global wafer foundry giant and has greater advantages in foundry technology. Compared with Chinese wafer factories, if it obtains permission to purchase equipment, it can accelerate the expansion of production capacity, grab more orders, and impact China. Fab However, the production capacity of TSMC's Nanjing plant is limited after all, and the expansion and development of mainland China's wafer fabs is simply unstoppable.